Elemental Cloud is amazing, but there is a little bit of an issue if you're trying to connect a domain and an email to your cloud. And I'm going to show you how to get around that. Now, I have been quite unwell, got a very croaky voice. Please do not let that put you off watching this. So we've got a cloud website here and I already attached a temporary domain. We're going to create a brand new domain and email with Zoho.com just because it's really, really cheap. And then we're going to connect it to Elemental Cloud. What I will say about Zoho is that it's not completely user friendly. So please follow these steps as I do them. You go to Zoho.com and you are going to click Get Started. And you're going to create a free account. Then you go to this second link that's in the description, which is for Zoho Mail. And what you do here is you just click Access Zoho Mail. Go for the first option because you want to have an email that's linked to your domain. I know we haven't purchased a domain yet, but definitely go for the top one. Now at the moment, like I said, we don't have a domain, but we are in the admin console bit. So now we're going to click Buy. And this is where we're going to find our ideal domain name. It says elementalcloud.online for $6 a year. I'm just going to go for that for testing purposes. You then get taken to register. Now, this is important. Over here, you put in the email address linked to your domain. So I go for info at elementalcloud.online. Don't contact me on that. This is just for test purposes. And make sure you put in your actual contact email address. So this is your normal one, but this is the new email address linked to your domain. And then fill in your other details and proceed. Once you've paid, it will then do this where it's now registering everything. So remember, you create an account with Zoho. You then um, go to the second link to buy, um, to set up the email, but then you click the button, buy the domain, then set up the email. It feels like the steps are not well thought out, but follow what I did in the video. Now, before you do anything else, you will get an email saying verify. You must verify or this will be suspended and it won't connect the email or the domain. So make sure you verify. You'll get an email from zoho.mail. Verify to make sure you see this over here. Okay. Now here's where it gets a little bit complicated, but it's not complicated if you follow this. If you go to the third link for um, Zoho Mail, which is here, zoho.com uh, forward slash mail, when you click access Zoho Mail, this will now take you into the mail if you're already logged in, or you would enter in your Zoho login details. Uh, let's just skip that for a moment. And you will now go in to access your mail. This is where you can start to mess around with your settings, like forwarding or things like that. That's where you go for this. But if you go back over to here, which is the admin console, and remember, there will be a link for this, okay? What you do is you click your domain. And then it will say to you, there's a username and a password. This is not the username or the password you set up with. Zoho create this for you. You just got to go with it. But it's this over here, which is the DNS URL. You got to click that. The username I would get from here. Okay. You copy it. And the password I would copy from here. You click it and just paste it in. And then I click manage domain. This is going to take me to another page. And the only area you need to worry about is this one here, which is name servers DNS. Now in the name server DNS, you can see the name server here, but you don't touch that. You actually scroll down and it says modify DNS zone. You click that. Can you now see the A record and the C name has popped up? I'm not going to put any subdomain domain here. Leave that blank. I'm going to go over here to Elemental uh, Cloud and I'm going to pick up this A record. I'm going to copy that, go back over here, overwrite that and click Add Record. Sorry, 
remove that. There you go, I've just modified it. I'm also going to go down here to C name. Now, Elemental Cloud does tell me about that I do have this C name as well. But I'm just going to do the A record. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to click save the DNS zone. The DNS zone is now successfully saved. Let's go back over here now. So I'm back on Elemental Cloud. I've just said, OK, got it, because I've put the A record in. I'm now going to put in my custom domain. So it was Elemental, um, Elemental Cloud, can't even spell it, online. Can't spell. Elemental Cloud dot online. And I'm going to click add domain. So this could take 48 hours. I have found it took an hour. I'm going to click done. Now there is a major problem in that my test website is set as the primary and the two that have been added, I cannot set as primary until the DNS checks are done. So we'll come back to this part later on when I know that's done. Because what I'm going to do is when the DNS check is done, and it could take 48 hours, usually it's about an hour or two, I will set this one as the primary. But for now, we can't do that, so we just got to wait. Okay, believe it or not, within 30 minutes, it has now made Elemental Cloud dot online primary. I mean, I even switched off my lights thinking I'd come back to this tomorrow. But within half an hour, Elemental Cloud dot online is now my primary domain. Now remember, your email with, was with Zoho. So you will get emails come through from Zoho and details on how to access your emails on Outlook or Mail or your phone or even on their um, inbuilt Zoho mail system. It's up to you how you do that. But the key thing is that Elemental Cloud dot online is now available. If I go in over here to the actual uh, over here and click open WP dashboard and there we go. I'm in Elemental Cloud. It's uh, SSL secure. It's all done. I mean, this has got the plugins and everything else I had in it because I was using this before as a test site. But by going through some certain steps, methodically putting in the A record when I had to do it within half an hour, my Elemental Cloud website now has what I needed it to do. Um, it's not that difficult. It will be different depending on your host provider, whether you've been one to three reg or site ground, sorry, where you registered your domain, not your host provider. So if you got your domain on zoho.com, got it GoDaddy, one to three reg, site ground, somewhere else, you just got to make sure you put the A record or the C name in and hopefully within half an hour, might be a bit longer, you'll have your domain assigned to your Elemental Cloud website to get going. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow and I'm sorry for the croaky voice but I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring.